there is a ton of history here, and it's in the real estate. It's in the brick, it's in the wood, keeps the history alive. After spending more than $4 million in several years on renovations, the historic Cal Johnson building in downtown Knoxville is ready for lease. WBIR 10 News reporter Jim Matheny shows us the renovations and the building's rare history. We love old buildings in general, but they don't often come along with a story like this. For decades, renovating the old Cal Johnson building seemed like a long shot. But like the man who built it and it's named for, it beat the odds. We're on the ground floor of the Calvin Johnson building, which is a historic rehab project. His life story is an amazing story. Cal was born a slave. When he passed away, he was a significant figure in our community. Cal Johnson went from slavery to earning money digging graves, to owning several saloons, tracks for horse racing, and real estate throughout Knoxville in the 19th century. When he died, his estate was worth half a million dollars, including that building on State Street that after a century was on its last legs. The community should be grateful to the Dance family for hanging on to this building and preserving it and taking on the risk to redevelop it. With help from historic preservation grants and tax breaks from the city, the group could afford to save this piece of history. You can't replace this character. You cannot replace this history. If this was torn down, it would be gone forever. Now the top floors are ready as rental apartments, and the main floor is primed for retail, especially a restaurant. It took four years of painstaking work to reinforce this entire building. That post is original to the building. The steel that is sandwiching that post is new stuff. Massive metal framework that keep this building standing. While working on the bricks and mortar, the renovations kept the cultural significance front and center. The dance family, the owner wanted to make sure that, that everyone knew this was the, the Cal Johnson building. When you walk in the front door, there's a big wall wrap with Cal's face all over it. It's just cool. There's not anything else like this. And to be able to preserve it is just, it's a huge honor. An honor and a reminder of the long shot who was born a slave and died one of the wealthiest and most respected men in East Tennessee. In downtown Knoxville, Jim Athene, WBIR 10 News. The owners have already leased the eight apartments in the Cal Johnson building. Now they're just working to find a restaurant to move into the bottom floor.